I think if universal credit is not changed, we'll have some real tragedies happening in our society. It just simply isn't possible for people to be able to stay in their accommodation if they're in the private sector, to fend off absolute uh, chaos if they've got no money at all. Good evening. The sister of a man who died while waiting for a universal credit payment says her brother spent his last days hungry and in fear of losing his home. Chris Gold from Shepton Beecham died from natural causes just days after ITV News reported on the delays he faced receiving his benefits payout. In an exclusive interview, his sister now says he was let down by the system. Ben McGrail has this report. When I met Chris Gold earlier this year, it was clear he was worried about his future. He was heavily in debt and struggling to be paid universal credit. He was preparing to lose his home. I feel like I've been hung out to dry and not eating and that. It just makes you feel ill all the time. Yeah, I want to keep the house because I, I've, I've worked hard for 38 years, but it just seems unfair that I worked all my life to buy a house and now I'm going to end up with nothing. But there it is. Chris said that when applying for the benefit, he'd been told he was fit to work, but a stroke had left him with serious health problems. Just days after this interview was broadcast, he died of natural causes. Chris's sister, Heather, spent a lot of time with him in the months before he died. She knew how serious his money problems were, and she says she saw the effect that his fight to get universal credit had on him. He knew that he was going to lose everything. His house, where he brought the girls up. He knew. He couldn't go to work. He was... He was ill. Just looking at him, he looked like a ghost on legs. He was so pale, so fat on him. And if he'd been getting that money, that money had been coming through. He would have gone to the grocery shopping, like we went to the grocery shopping. He, had, he would have built himself up. That, he kept on about it. I'm not going to be like this forever, Harold. In the months between his first application and his death, Chris had his phone line cut off, big utility bills come through, and he'd been receiving food bank parcels. The week I saw him, he told me he was hopeful of receiving universal credit in a few days. That didn't happen. In the end, Heather says he relied on her for money. They should have been like more in touch with him to help him with his head so that he could sleep and not worry about the next day of what was going to happen. It, they could have took a lot of stress off him. We were brother and sister. We were also friends, the best friends. I can hold my head up high. I help my brother. Benefits didn't get there. I am angry. Chris's story isn't unique. The charity Citizens Advice Taunton says between April and September this year they've helped over 450 people who are either trying to claim universal credit or are in debt because of delays in receiving it. In the end, Chris never received the benefit. He died waiting.